Quite a lot of people who use amphetamines use it for more than one day. They might use over two or three days. Now, the effects of amphetamines are to wake you up. They're stimulants. You might get euphoria. Um, they suppress your appetite. You don't want to sleep. Of course, after two or three days of that, you, you, you simply can't carry on any longer. So what tends to happen is, quite literally, people crash. You've not slept for many days, you've been high, you've been euphoric, um, you've not eaten very much, if at all. So the opposite happens. You, you end up very hungry, uh, you can end up agitated, um, clearly um, you, you need to catch up in your sleep, so you're very sleepy, but often your sleep pattern's so disturbed that you don't get restful sleep. And of course, instead of being euphoric, um, you can end up being depressed. But usually um, for two, three, four days, they're not sleeping very well, they're feeling a bit agitated, they want to go out and have a good time again, so they go back to using the drug. Now, when that happens then over uh, several weeks, over a period of time, a number of things can happen. Of course, your sleep becomes very severely disturbed, and if you can't sleep well, uh, that creates all sorts of problems in itself. So you start taking amphetamines in order to feel more awake, um, and of course um, you, you can then end up becoming uh, dependent on the amphetamine. There's a whole range of vulnerabilities that uh, are more likely to become um, expressed if a person uses amphetamine. That doesn't mean they would have happened anyway. Um, for example, there is an increased risk of stroke uh, for some people who take amphetamine. Now the evidence is beginning to tell us that's usually amongst people who have a pre-existing vulnerability, but if you're 24, 25, you, you might not know you've got that vulnerability, and it might never be expressed unless you took the amphetamine. Similarly, you might have a vulnerability to mental health problems, but that might never have been expressed if you hadn't taken um, the amphetamine. And of course, as I said, even psychologically robust individuals with no pre-existing vulnerability can experience quite severe, very severe mental health problems if they take amphetamine for long enough uh, in large enough doses. One of the things that, that, that some people do in order to manage uh, problems with amphetamine is to take um, other drugs, often um, depressant type drugs. So if you've, if you've taken a, a stimulant, uh, then in order to help come down, in order to manage, manage some of the, the, the symptoms of, of the crash, some people will use depressants, and that can range from alcohol to cannabis, uh, opiates, that obviously have the opposite effect, help people calm down, help people sleep better. And then, of course, you, you can end up with uh, a dependence not just on the amphetamine, but on the range of other substances. And indeed, it's very rare that you see somebody in a drug treatment service who's only using um, one type of drug, you often find that there's, there's several drugs that they're consuming and that they're also having problems with.